Good evening, Tree Squad. We're back with vlog number two. Tonight, we have something very special planned. As you see, the sun is setting and it is a beautiful sunset. However, the night is young. Tonight, we are going into Washington, D.C. to meet it with my friend Michael Schaffer, AKA Capital Sunset. One of the best automotive photographers I know and in my opinion, one of the best in the world. And we are going to shoot two very special cars with him tonight. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Guys, so I made it to DC and look what I have. It's the capital sunset. Say hey. Everybody. So this is this guy, as I already said, is probably the best photographer I know. So tonight, I'm gonna have him tell you guys a little bit about him. More in a minute, we're trying to save parking. <laughs> so we'll check back in a second. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Ah, there they are. They're split up. Ah, Benzy. Benzy, if you guys don't know, is Michael's E63. I drove it, it's awesome. He needs an exhaust. Everybody comment on his Instagram repeatedly telling him he needs an exhaust. But this is the first car we're taking out tonight, guys. It is the AMG GTC Roadster. It is blue with a gorgeous caramel tan interior. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the other car that we're going to be shooting tonight. It is a 2017 AMG G63, otherwise known as the G-Wagon. And this is one of the colored versions. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But right now, it's time to cold start the AMG GTC Roadster. Are you excited? <laughs> I love ramen. Let's get ramen. Hey guys, we're here at Utsu 9. Uh, this is Hiro and Takashi. And they make the best ramen in DC, maybe in the whole country. They're straight from Japan. They've been here a little while, but they're making the best ramen you can get, maybe outside of Japan. And Takashi is an artist. He did the illustration for the Utsu pamphlet. And I also bought some of his pieces because as soon as I saw them, I was blown away. We were hanging out with Takashi and Hiro last night from Utsu, the ramen place. And we had mentioned that Takashi is an artist. I was so struck by his work that uh, when I went to visit his gallery, I had to get some. Um, so this piece is called You Are Not Alone, and it totally blows my mind. If you get up close to it, you can see just the absolute crazy level of detail that Takashi went into. Uh, he told me he was working on this piece off and on for about six months, um, all by hand, and he was going through a tough time, so it was his therapy. Um, so. I think it's just visually absolutely amazing and the story to go with it makes it even that much more special. Um, so he's obviously a pretty talented dude. This was one of the smaller pieces. It's called the Big Head. Uh, same absolutely incredible level of detail. But then when you back away from it a little bit, you can see the, the vague shape with two eyes and a mouth, hence the Big Head. So. He's operating on a whole other level. And these are all hand drawn, right? Completely? Yeah, absolutely. Um, check out Takashi's handle. I'm sure Ben will throw it up, right? Somewhere. Here. Here. <laughs> um, and, and support him because he's a talented guy and he's obviously working really hard. So. All right, back to you, past Ben. <laughs> it's kind of a collaboration, not really a collaration. He's just adding awesome sh to my lame poster, so that's in the pipeline as well. Handles then, below also, I'm gonna pop them up on the screen right here, so follow these guys in their ramen shop, they're awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! 
This is amazing. Ooh. shooting the G63. Very intense shoot. I'm sorry I didn't film anything for you guys, but how would you say it went, Michael? Long, but good. Good? Alright. It's very late. We're gonna go upstairs, do one more thing for you guys, and then hit the sack. So, uh, we're gonna transition upstairs to the next part of the video. <laughs> Alright, so, Michael, I have a question for you. You have this beautiful terrace, right? Yes. Uh, is this where you watch the Capital Sunsets? <laughs> uh, In Instagram right here. We're facing east, so this is where I watch the Capital Sunrises. Then you need to change your Instagram name because it doesn't make sense. I have that Instagram too. It's my non-automotive feed. Go follow him here. <laughs> Ooh, oh, all right. See, she sells she seashells. She sells. <laughs> Mama Mimi. <me, me. laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the little segment we did in DC with the AMG GTC Roadster and the G63 AMG. Uh, of course, all thanks goes to Michael because he was provided these cars by Mercedes. So again, make sure not only checking out Michael, but also to check out Mercedes on all their social media platforms. They'll be linked below. I wanted Michael to give you a little bit of information on him because as I said multiple times in the vlog, not only is he one of my favorite automotive photographers, but I personally think he's one of the best in the world and he makes his living doing it. So uh, Michael, why don't you tell the people why don't you tell the tree squad a little bit about yourself? Sure, well, first and foremost, very important to me, I grew up around Maryland, which is why Ben and I got to be buds. We, we grew up uh, probably like 15, 10, 15 minutes away from Less each other. That. We're local boys. Yeah, so, and I'm, I'm very proud of where I grew up, and I think we agree that uh, it's a really beautiful area. It's gorgeous, it's, especially this time of year in the yeah, fall. Yeah, and it's influenced uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the way I take my pictures and the way I, I think I look at light and backgrounds and everything. So that's that's key. Um, Maryland is key. Ma major <laughs> key. Major key. Um, but I actually really got my start in photography by leaving Maryland and moving out to California, where I went to the Brooks Institute. Um, it's kind of a, a phony for-profit technical college, um, but I did get a very good education there and I made connections with the photographers at Motor Trend while I was there and I, I hassled them for an internship. Uh, I wasn't qualified for it at all, uh, but I, I wanted it because I wanted to be around the cars. And, and that's the thing I do want to interject here. If you want something, don't just sit around and say, oh, I could have done that because you're just going to live your life with regrets. He pushed for it. He asked for an internship and he wasn't qualified, but he wanted the experience and Motor Trend obviously is one of the most prestigious automotive magazines, uh, publications in the world. And I think what he was about to say is he got it because he persisted and he kept at it. That's a good point. I mean, uh, don't say no to anything. Kind of the bad way to say it is fake it till you make it. But that's what works. Uh, so I was underqualified, but they, they took a chance on me. They gave me the opportunity and I worked really hard. I was commuting four hours a day for 10 months in Los Angeles traffic, um, shooting seven days a week. You don't get to where he is just like that. So I did the internship for uh, 10 months and then they offered me a full-time position. Um, I, I learned pretty much everything I know through being there, just shooting all the time. Um, literally, it was my entire life for four years, just going out and shooting, trying new things, making mistakes, and picking the pieces that I liked from those mistakes. Can I just say, job goals. <laughs> um, so I was at Motor Trend as a staff photographer for about four years. I made a lot of good connections with the different manufacturers there, who are now the friends that I have that hire me. So uh, that includes 
Mercedes Benz USA. Um, Who we got the cars from tonight. Thank you, Mercedes. Yeah, thank you, MB USA, so much for giving me these amazing cars again, for paying me to do this stuff. Like, this is a, this is a vacation. I hate you. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, but I also shoot for Ferrari USA. I hate you. Uh, yeah, I hate me for that one, too. No one can take that. Don't take that. This guy is the biggest Ferrari one. fan ever. If you, if you know someone who has a Ferrari that wants the most professional pictures of, of their car, well, still hire me, but but hire him too. <laughs> let me tag along and let him drive it. Yeah, <laughs> we got Jared Garage to let him drive the car, the, the three fifty five, and he it was good. It was a good that day. was amazing. Yeah. Any day you drive a Ferrari is a good day. You can put that as a quote. Anytime you see a Ferrari is a good day. As Anytime as Ferrari is a good day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that case, doesn't make case sense. Case in point. It makes sense. Uh, yeah. So he works for Mercedes. He works for Ferrari. Who else? Subaru. Subaru flies me around the world. Do you vape? Uh, I don't vape, but I guess I should to be on the fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a flat brim hat yet either. You don't have but... a flat. Well, you don't like. You don't. Um, I got nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So those those are the three big ones. I've done some other stuff for uh, Bentley and Rolls Royce, and they're all the the best thing about all those companies is is they make phenomenal products and they're really good people to work with. Is there any like quick tips you can give people if they're photographers and they want to work with brands? Obviously, you know you could ask, but it's probably a lot harder than it looks. Just make all the contacts that you can and eventually the, the automotive world is huge but it's also really small eventually you'll meet the right people and they'll put you in touch with someone who's um, also the right person exactly yeah so okay. I, I don't know if there's one direct way to, to start shooting for the manufacturers I mean that that's the longer part of my story you can you can get out there and you know watch you know listen to what Ben does I'll try to give some tips and you can be shooting on our level in a matter of you know a couple days um, the bigger thing is that the, the hustle part is getting to know the people that you need to know to pay you money to do it. You, you can't be afraid of a no. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? No, okay, cool, I'll go back and I'll work on my craft and I'll come back later and you know try again. Because there's no such thing as failure. There's just a series of obstacles in getting to your goal. And you know, I, I think that Michael embodies that. I mean, I'm sure you came up against opposition a bunch of times in your career. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, one of my greatest takeaways from, from failing is uh, there really isn't any, I mean, I, maybe there is failing. I haven't disappointed any of my clients so far yet that they've not wanted to hire me back yet. Um, but it goes back to fake it till you make it. I, I've gotten a lot of asks, um, a lot of invitations for something that I, am, I have no idea how to do, but I show up and I just throw some things at the wall and see what sticks. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that, that, we had this conversation a, a week or two ago. I, I told him that I had a potential opportunity from a manufacturer coming up, uh, which I, I'm still waiting to hear back on, but I'm very hopeful. Uh, you know who you are. And um, <laughs> I told him, I'm scared. Like, I've never done anything like this before. I have no idea what I'm doing with working with a manufacturer. And I know I got to deliver and it's very daunting. And he said, when you, you said like when you did this the first time, you were like, well, if they come out great and the manufacturer's happy, then I get paid and I have a recurring client. And if they're not happy, I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, just say yes. And like it, if you, I guess what, what's the saying? You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't You take. don't take. Yeah. So don't, don't say yes to everything. Like if someone asks you, you, you so, sh shoot someone, not with a camera, with a gun, don't do it. But if they say, you know, I want you to, I want to pay you to shoot, Honda wants to pay you to shoot a Civic. Don't say no. A, it's money. B, it's experience. The person at Honda could leave Honda, go to another company that you want to work with, or they could know people at other companies that they could introduce you to if they like your work. So the, what he, what you said is absolutely true. If you don't take a shot, you won't, you know, make it. You, you miss 100% of the shots you, you yeah, don't take. It's cliche. And but also, I'll... you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> yeah. Puns. Please. Exactly. Yeah. I met all these great people while I was working at Motor Trend and then I eventually built up the nerve to to break out on my own and I did that about three and a half years ago now um, and I've, I've stuck with the friends that I made at, at Motor Trend through the various manufacturers and they've been nice enough to to hire me to keep doing this so instead of doing I basically do exactly what I did at Motor Trend but now I do it directly for the manufacturers yeah. so it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I hate you. Okay, <laughs> so anyways, uh, Michael now has a, a store. He has a website, he has a store, and obviously he takes some of the best 
pictures of cars in the world. So I'm gonna actually have him demo a little bit of merch for you guys that he has for sale. And then we're gonna get into something special that we have planned for you guys. So uh, Mike, you, Mike, you wanna take it away? Yeah, so uh, this is kind of a cool story and, and some of you might be familiar with this image already, but a couple of years ago, kind of just for fun, I shot my buddy Drew's Countach um, and got this image out of it. So my buddy Drew, he was selling this car and he asked me to take pictures of it for Craigslist. I'm kidding, it wasn't for Craigslist, but I always make that joke. So yeah, I have these posters for sale. Um, I'm also working on some other stuff. I got some t-shirts you can grab and this is kind of the cartoony version of the same image. There it is, palm trees, because I shot it in Los Angeles. <laughs> and then I got some stickers too and there's there's some other fun stuff on the store, some you, iPhone cases. iPhone cases, yeah, definitely. They're really cool. They have the same image on it, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to be making some more stuff soon, just differentiating uh, Yeah, image. I'll be adding new stuff to the store all the time, so please uh, comment on my feed or let Ben know if you have requests for something that you might be interested if in. If you see a video. picture you like of his, reach out to him. Uh, his Instagram obviously is below, but it's also here, and also I'm going to put the... Um, the, the shop, the website right here and in the description below. So make sure you go check that out. If you have something that you want on a phone case, a picture that he's taken or you want on a t-shirt, you think it would be a good idea for him to sell in the store, shoot him a DM on Instagram at Capital Sunset and um, let him know because I'm sure, you know, it definitely be a good idea for him to do and add to the story. We love feedback, right? And uh, what we're gonna do for you guys in the Tree Squad, and you can find out more about this on my Instagram, is we're gonna do a giveaway. So I think, what do you think? Do you think we do like a couple t-shirts, maybe two or three, if you have however many you have left? I think I have two yeah, mediums two, left. Two t-shirts, they're mediums, so obviously, if, you, if you're not a medium, you can give it to someone else if you want, but I, we only have mediums right now. Um, maybe like two or three of the posters, and we can figure out that logistics later, and then a bunch of stickers, you know. We'll do a giveaway on the Cars and Trees Instagram, and again, I'll go into more detail about this um, in my Instagram, so just check that out, link below, at Cars and Trees. But what they're gonna have to do is, of course, follow Michael at Capital Sunset, so make sure you follow him on Instagram if you don't already, because that's part of the giveaway. And then what I'm gonna have Michael do is, I'm gonna post a photo of his, and he's gonna post the exact same photo, uh, one that he hasn't done yet, and uh, we're both gonna post it, right? and you're all going to have to comment and tag five of your friends. Uh, and once that happens, we're gonna pick someone randomly and there you go, so uh, if that covers everything, uh, that's the vlog, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you go follow Michael, and of course follow myself, all the links are below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.